all admit that. Election day, less than two weeks away. All eyes are focused on Congress, where I know it sounds scary, but it looks like the Democrats stand a decent chance of taking control. Oop, was that divisive? This is the story that everybody's talking about. So it makes perfect sense that I would send Brian Sack out to report on the election, and he would decide to completely ignore that story and file this report. Throughout our political history, third parties have often played a vital role. Ross Perot, Ralph Nader, Earl Dodge. What, you never heard of Earl Dodge? All right, okay, maybe third parties aren't that important. But as the Prohibition Party candidate for president in 1984, 1988, 1992, 1996, and 2000, and 2004, Earl Dodge could teach our current politicians an awful lot about losing. This November, Literally thousands of third-party candidates won't be influencing our nation's races. Races like the turbulent battle for the New Jersey Senate seat vacated by bazillionaire John Corzine. While Robert Menendez and Tom Keene Jr. are the current frontrunners, one third-party candidate can't be ignored. And that would be... <laughs> truck driver Ed Fortune of the Legalized Marijuana Party. Unlike so many of those third parties that tend to focus on just a single issue, the Legalized Marijuana Party is more than just a political party advocating the reform of marijuana laws. It's also a political party advocating the reform of hashish laws and psychedelic mushroom laws. You get the picture. Ironically, it's these very laws that are keeping Fortune from getting his message out. And just what is Ed Fortune's message? It's a message of inspiration. Wake up, potheads. A message of unity. I would love to have George Bush and Osama bin Laden sit down and smoke, mellow out, and we'd have peace on Earth. A message that is truly the American dream. Here in America, you can get marijuana almost anywhere. I mean, I've bought marijuana in the whitest city in America, Salt Lake City. Me, a black man, Salt Lake City buying marijuana. You can, buy, you can buy marijuana anywhere. During my nearly one hour exclusive sit down interview with Fortune, we spoke of many topics ranging from marijuana, ganja, chiba, cess, to marijuana, haze, herb, Mary Jane. Even when discussing the war in Iraq, the conversation came back to marijuana. If Saddam Hussein did have a stash of WMDs, where would you recommend he hide his stash? In the freezer, in the garlic, uh, in the cornfield, under the couch, next to the TV, under the TV. Now, some would say a vote for a third party is a vote wasted. But others might say, if you're voting for Ed Fortune, you probably are wasted. One of my slogans is, take a tote and throw the weed man a vote. Uh, let's imagine health freezes over, pigs fly, and you get elected to the U.S. Senate. What are you going to do on your first day? On well, my first day, <laughs> well, I'm going to twist up a fatty for one thing. And I'm going <laughs> to twist up a fatty and uh, basically celebrate uh, a, a real person being, being elected. Ed Fortune, you got my vote. <laughs> oh, wait, I, I don't even live in New Jersey. Oh, I must be stoned. <laughs> this is amazing. Brian Sack. Yes, sir. Welcome to the pro. This guy really is for real, he too, is, isn't he? He is for real. I don't know if he remembers, but he did run for governor of New Jersey, <laughs> the Garden State, last year. And in fact, he walked away with 10,000 votes. You've got to be kidding me. I'm absolutely serious. 10,000 people voted for this 10, guy? 10,000 people voted for him. Uh, and he is, um, does he have problems raising money? Uh, well, you know, he's raised some, he's got tough competition there. Those are both millionaires, but he has managed to raise, my sources say, $372, which he has stashed around the house. Right. And he does have a unique fundraising method, which is a raffle. He is giving away two ounces of pot to the winner of the raffle, which is questionable when it comes to ethics, but it's highly illegal. I was going to say, I don't think it's questionable at all. I think it's highly illegal and hi highly wrong as well. Um, do you think that smoking, because I, I got to tell you, I, I, I'm a former drug user and, and I am not, um, uh, I, I just, just did so much damage to my body and my brain. Mm -hmm. Do you think this guy would have a hard time legislating or would it 
you know, it, it hasn't affected his ability to, to be a long-haul truck driver. I think some of the problems with the campaign right now are, are the frequent uh, campaign stops He's, for munchies. Uh, wait, wait, wait. He's actually a driver? He's he, on the road now? Uh, not, well, he, he does not smoke when he drives. He made that very clear. Sure. Uh, but, sure. when he, you know, he does stop during the campaign. You're high right now, aren't you, Brian? You know, th there was some secondhand smoke. Right. And, uh, you know... The more I think about it, the right. more the universe is, is possibly on the end of your finger. And right. it, maybe there's a giant in space. That's weird. And, you know, we're all part of... I um, kind of feel like this chair, like I've become one with this chair. All right, chair. goodbye, goodbye. Brian, you look very vibrant. Brian Sack, thank you very much. Thanks for having me.